Mm, okay, actually, let's turn this down a touch. That's probably, well, that feels better. Okay, so I am trying my hand at programmatic SEO. I've already done um, a few kind of like building on video videos. <laughs> I've recorded wa myself while doing the process itself, but I haven't really explained any of it. So I wonder if I can pull this up. I can. Let me just go. Oops. Bear with me. So I have it in here. Unpublished so far. This is what is generated after it goes from in progress to done or once these change or whatever. I guess I should just. It's kind of annoying because it generates one every single time and I only want it to generate when it's done, not when I change it to do to to do or to in progress. I want it to recognize only when it's done. So I probably have to go into Zapier or whatever the hell I set it up with. I think it was Zapier. Um, so for example, I am wanting to write up some, uh, a bunch of pieces about the best type of software for small businesses. So I am going and writing, <sighs> let me just show you. So it says, what is the, what is the best blank software for small business, basically. And I'm just taking all the categories of B2B software I'm doing. Um, so applicant tracking for this one. And then over here, you can, oh, this will be better. Um, application development software for small business. So it's all the same, you see? It's, so it's basically like um, a blog post that's auto dynamically generated with merge tags, basically but I generate it with, or like through Google Docs. And then I take that and I just copy it and I paste it as is over to, um, over to my website blog. Um, and that's a bit controversial because this, this whole process probably is for a lot of people. If you talk to uh, professionals in the content marketing space, they're gonna tell you to create highly, highly valuable pieces of content ferociously publish them. Actually, it'll differ. Some will tell you to ferociously publish. Some will tell you to drip them. I think that you should publish as fast as you fucking can. Forgive my, excuse my language. They will say that you need to, every, every piece needs to be like a masterpiece essentially. And, and they're not wrong in a sense. I think that should be included, but if you're starting out, you don't have a budget and you don't have a team. You need pages. You need a lot of them. You need as many chances as you can get to get some traction, to get some of the right website visitors and then convert them. So if someone is coming, if someone is a small business owner, they're going to end up on one of these pages. Like it says, what is the blank software for small business? I can help almost any small business with Nurturely Plus and then with content. They need content themselves like this. However, I have my writers write those perfectly like mass, like perfect masterpieces every time. So I have that incorporated as well as this programmatic SEO, or that's what it's called. Anyway, I just, I, I know if I Google programmatic SEO that I will be able to <laughs> learn what I need to learn. So I don't know if it actually should be called that. Um, but let's go into one of these docs and see what I have right here. So I'm going to, I have a source for all of this and I go through and I rank, I, I take what I know from the industry plus what the reviews say and, and their current ranking. So I have my own little formula and um, I come up with uh, who's the best applicant tracking software for a small business. Well, in this case, it was Bamboo HR. So I'm a sucker for good formatting and this is really hard for me to look at. Um, because this is not formatted very well and I'm not really looking for it to be um, perfectly beautiful. I want to put it out there, put the words out there, have Google determine whether or not it's going to rank and whether or not it's going to index it even, where it's going to rank and see if it does. Um, some of them it's not going to rank right away, but some of, them, some of it will. I would rather not guess um, what's going to rank and I'd rather just throw as much as I can 
and see, like, let it self-select, let the content self-select and then focus my, all my resources on those ones rather than again, guessing which one of these is going to take off. They're not going to take off. They're going to, so for example, the project I'm working on now, this one right here has like 172 pages that I will be uploading or posts. I don't anticipate those pages getting more than like, I don't know, 10 to 20 visitors a month, like one a day, less than one a day. But if you have five pages doing like one a day and I have hypothetically 30,000, who's going to win? So the people who are in content market in the content marketing space <coughs> are absolutely worth their value and more. However, there are scenarios which in which this helps in which you need speed. Startups need speed. When you're uh, a more established behemoth, you can slow down on the speed and focus on, on the content that you think is going to generate thousands of views a month, not just the hundreds of this, or sorry, hundreds, not just the 10 or 20, but the stuff that's like, you know what, you're basically a media company now when you can invest in a content writer like that. But a startup needs to do SEO. You need to play the game. You have to satisfy the algorithms, but you have to try to do it in a way that you, you're still satisfying the humans as well. So I have Bamboo HR, someone who's learning what the best applicant tracking software for a small business is. They're going to find a video here. In this case, it's how to use it. Bamboo HR for human resources. I found a 27 minute tutorial on YouTube. I'm just sharing it in here. I'm acting as a content aggregator. So some people do this like just for their email newsletter, except I want to put it out on Google, on Google, on the internet so that it can live forever. And email is going to get deleted. Like really, you can just copy your email and post it over. If, you, if, if you're reading this or, or sorry, listening to this, you need to slow the hell down. If you're listening to this and you have an email list, consider just literally copying that email and publishing it as a blog so that it can live out there forever or have a chance to do something. You know what I mean? So I had that YouTube video. I put in the, I take the, the description of the YouTube, uh, of that YouTube video and put it there. I put the link to the YouTube video. There's also an, M, an embed there. This has Bamboo HR's page. This is all dynamically generated. And eventually I could have my own affiliate link there. The ones that take off, I will focus on that. I know that a lot of people go to Reddit for good information now, or they will type in their keyword and then include Reddit after that because they know the people that are dominating the search engine or the SERPs, the search engine results page are the people like me who are trying to um, rank their content there programmatically or it's like, or using some type of artificial intelligence, I guess. This is not artificial intelligence in that sense. This is basically like, like levers and pulleys like so other companies will use artificial intelligence to do that. I'm artificial intelligence, like base, I'm stuck in the 1800s doing this. Um, and they're in like 2050. So I include, <clears throat> damn, I like can barely talk for 10 minutes without like needing a drink. So I will include Basically, who asked the question? I'm trying to give credit every every possible way I can. And I will go back in and link these ones to the ones, especially the, the ones that get traction. I just like am the document or the template in Zap, Zapier that I use to generate the document. It's not it's not as dynamic as I need to. Like right here, it takes I, I have these hyperlinked and that's great. I wish I could get the embed to go in there. Um, I can't. And then I have the link to the thread here, which I need to, I can just do this right now. This is what I've been doing. Oh yeah. See, like I want to be able to, oh yeah, it sounded super Canadian. I'm sorry. Also apologizing is very Canadian. I need to quit it for shit like that. So I'll like link to the um, like actual recruiting hell or Congress guy 12 profile so that they get their credit and it's just linked there and the page looks better to, to Google. Cause I have a lot of this that's copied 
um, copied and pasted. It's as is. So like it gives them a taste of what they would get if they click that link. I have, there's no problem with that. I'm not taking this, copying it and pasting it here and, and claiming it to be my own. I am putting together a conglomerate of resources around applicant tracking software that this person can use. And I've already published six pages. Five of them are indexed. I think seven pages were published and five were indexed. I had prepped 10 yesterday. I have to prep five more and I will be able to publish all 15. Like it will probably take me like 40 minutes to do that. I need to find a way to auto publish it. And I think I can, Oh, it's just, I, I really, I am not technical at all. So anyway, moving forward, it says, I ask, is it easy to use? It, it, is, and then I, I will literally take that question is bamboo, bamboo HR easy to use, pop that into Google find the answer that I deem suitable there and go in more about that than talk about how it saves money. Um, but the way most of this, is, it's going to be a, some variation of like, well, software, business software saves you time, money and resources or whatever, based time and money. If it doesn't do one of those, then what's the fucking point? You know what I mean? You're not going to, you're not going to pay more for, uh, you're not going to pay any money for a software that doesn't generate some type of ROI. So like all software saves money, but someone's going to ask that question so I can include it there. Um, and then I include alternatives and I need to include links here, but I just started um, adding more of this. I will include alter alternatives here because I can't like Bamboo HR is best for maybe a lot of people or maybe a, a small segment, but like not everyone's the same. The people that are coming here might want something else. So I'll give them something else. Um, include a link there, eventually maybe an affiliate link as well. And then at the end, I included a CTA. This is just <clears throat> really my second project, my first big project. So I just wanted a simple call to action and I wanted to see what I could do with it. Um, so I'm including my um, affiliate link for uh, AppSumo and then just their direct, like the direct link, like it looks ugly. So like people, <laughs> you can tell that I am like, dynamically building these pages. So I put here, like, if you're uncom uncomfortable with me, like making some money off of that, it's really, I get $10 uh, in AppSumo credit. So if I want to go buy a software, test a software out on AppSumo, I get $10 of credit. I don't get $10 in cash, but if you use my link, then you will also, um, you will get $10 in credit signing up. But if you just go and sign up, you don't get anything, but you should be able to find someone's referral code. Um, that's something that whenever I sign up for a software, I will like ask Twitter or LinkedIn or whoever, um, if they have an affiliate link so that they can get some type of commission from it. Makes me feel good too. <laughs> anyway, so that's the applicant tracking software document. It has the SEO or the meta, de meta description, uh, already there. So I'll copy that, delete it and then fill this out because this is ultimately what gets put as the title of the page. Um, so these are the ones that I have to be published. I will publish them to my company blog. And then once I do that, I put them back over in the main one. And the second that they go to published, it automatically generates a medium blog post for me. So it's like I'm getting my publishing points and distribution points, literally just like dragging the folders. Um, it's kind of fun, but I know I can make it faster. Um, so that is my um, programmatic SEO overview. Overview. This video is a little bit better than I thought it was going to be. It's totally off the cuff, um, but I think that um, this is it can be extremely valuable for a lot of people everywhere. Every every business every business everywhere. Like if you just did Q and A's, a simple Q and A start there, aim for about 500 words of posts. And then you just wait and see, like, just, you got to keep an eye on it with search console and Google analytics and see, um, which posts and which pages are getting traction. So you know where to focus your attention. That doesn't mean neglect, um, the ones that aren't getting traction. That means just first prioritize the ones that are getting traction and then go and what you did to those pages to improve them, also apply it to the other ones because then they could just be bumping up. The problem that they're not getting traction is because that, that could be more competitive so that your page wasn't sufficient enough yet. But because you improved the other ones that had easier an easier time ranking, also apply it to the other ones that have a harder time ranking. Now Google sees your page as more valuable and will reward you with 
higher search engine rankings. And you just kind of like repeat that process over and over and over again, you will just, you will be climbing the ladder. Um, and, and, and if you never theoretically never stop that, you will get better and better and better. And you will, you, you could eventually dominate any category you wanted to. You just got to pass the persistence test, overcome the test of time. But that's my programmatic SEO overview. If you have any questions, drop them below. Um, reach out to me any way you know how. I got my Twitter link below, LinkedIn links. You know how to get in touch with me. Happy to answer any questions, share this with you. By the way, this is Airtable. I'm using Airtable, Google Drive, and Drop Funnels. Uh, Drop, Drop Funnels is what my company blog is built on. I think it's incredible. It's built on WordPress, so I know that it's very reliable. Um, another option that would be perfect for uh, programmatic SEO is uh, Webflow. I would consider making the switch to Webflow. I just, <laughs> it's not as drag and drop as I, <laughs> as I need. And I'm not the web design. Uh, I, I don't want to be a web design expert. So I will have to wait until I can hire someone to do that. And then I will pay someone to uh, migrate me over from drop funnels to Webflow. So roundabout way, if you have the opportunity now and you know of Webflow or you have experience, start with Webflow. Um, I don't have my system yet for that. It's out there, but there's not... Few people are talking about this right now. A lot of people are doing it, but few are talking about it actually. And I, it's only popped up in the last maybe year. Um, check it out. Drop funnels, I can answer your questions. I would start with Webflow. All right. Talk to you later. Toodles.